Hi, I'm Todd from My View from the Woods. I thought today I would just give you a little update on how my plants are doing in my apartment garden. I haven't really ever done an update, so I thought I would just give one a try. I've got, I want to show you how my plants are before I ship some of them out. That's right, I have found a good home for a lot of my plants, or my extra plants. And some of the new seeds that I'm going to grow either today, start today or tomorrow. But first I want to show you my hydroponic system. Um, it is a Floriflex system set up. I run water through it about once, or about a half hour every other day. Um, I use a fertilizer mix of FloraGrow, and they're doing good. In the system, I have two types of tomatoes and jalapeno peppers. The first tomatoes are Tiny Toms. They're supposed to be a dwarf, like 18 to 24 uh, inch high plant. Um, those are already budded up with flowers. And the other one is called Arctic Rose, which is again a little bit smaller, like up to a three foot tomato. Those are growing great. They are also starting to bud up. So that's the system. It's working really well. The plants are growing great. They have great color. Uh, they do grow towards the light a little bit. Sometimes I just put a little bit of artificial light on the back side of them so they get 12 hours. Um, it hasn't been particularly sunny here in Syracuse. Today's is the exception. And I do rotate the pots every once in a while so that the stems will straighten up. Um, I think they're doing great and I'm really looking forward to them. The other thing I want to show you is my leaf lettuce. I did my last video on how to uh, grow salad mixes. I have a new one started. I'm also going to show you that. Here is the um, salad greens that I had previously grown. It took about 35 to 38 days to grow. You can see I'm eating off them right now. They're doing great. It tastes awesome. It's nice to take this whole tray right out to the kitchen, cut my lettuce leaves off, put it in a salad bowl, and have them for lunch along with some microgreens that I'm also going to show you a little bit. I'm on my second set of green onions. The first set did really well. I ate them a little bit young, I think, um, but they still added a lot of flavor and I did enjoy them. So they're pretty inexpensive and I put in another crop and those are up and growing. I'll show you those right here. And then of course I've got my microgreens. Um, I've been going through several different varieties. I've been Finding the correct seeding density, I can put a video up right here for those or up here or there, I don't know which, I can still never remember which side the, the uh, card comes up on. But I've been trying to find the correct seeding density for a lot of them I have. I also have just planted two new basil plants. It's growing really good. I'm, I'm enjoying the basil. I put the basil and the eggs in the morning quite a bit and in with salads. I also put it in with a meatloaf mix the other night and it worked pretty good. So you can see here I've also been eating off these microgreens. I just sort of take them out to the kitchen and clip them over a plate and then either add the microgreens to my salad or my meals or my cooking. It's, it works great. I really love having the small containers. I can take them from the growing area right to the kitchen, clip them off live as I need them and incorporate them into my foods. Down here is my new salad mix. You can see it's all fogged up and the hate about these covers is that every time you take the cover off the water seems to pour all over the condensation but you can see that these plants are yes they're growing they look like they're good they're doing well and right beside it is a little endive plant there that i've also been um, eating off of this is the second time this has grown up completely full so again i just clip it off use what i want add those little endive leaves to my salads and then let it regrow it's been doing really good so those are the plants that I've got growing right now. Um, these plants right here that I'm going to show you, these are my extra tomatoes, the tiny toms, the arctic rose, and the jalapenos. I have found homes for them. As soon as I'm done with this video, I'm going to pack these babies up. It's a little bit warmer out today, so I don't have to worry about them freezing. And I'm going to take them to their new owner so that they can grow them in their house for a little bit longer and then set them out. I guess a couple people are going to set them out or harden them off and then set them out in their cold frames. But most people are going to hang on to them for a little bit longer until it warms up here in central New York. I had to ship these plants off because I got to make rooms for some new ones. I'm uh, going to go right through my seed packets here. I've ordered from Fedco Seeds and MI Gardener. I want to show you the plants I've, uh, or the seeds I've purchased and what I'm going to do with them. And uh, you're going to see why I need to make room. The first one off is a Ruby Perfection to Red Cabbage from Fedco Seed. Again, this is just going to be a microgreen. I just bought a gram. I'm going to see how they grow, how I like them, and then if I do like them, um, I'll just buy more the next time. 
The next one is a green meat radish. So the red radishes have done really well. So this time I wanted to try a green radish um, just to see what the difference in the flavor of the greens are for microgreens. Again, I got a half ounce of those. The next one um, is arugula. I might grow a couple of these up, but I really like the spiciness of arugula in salads. Um, and again, depending on how you like spicy, it's just a matter of how much arugula you add, my, arugula microgreens you add to your salad to get that spice level that you want in your salad. It's sort of spicy, more peppery, I think, than spicy, but um, I'm a fan of arugula. I think it's one of those herbs that people either, are greens that people either love or they hate. Me, I love them. The next one is some chard, some red chard. Um, I'm going to try these as microgreens. They're kind of big. I don't know. Either that I'll probably grow some of them also as, as plants, see how they grow. I don't know where I'm going to put all these plants when they get full size, but I'll find room. The next one is, I think it's called pronounced tetsu. Again, it's a microgreen, sort of a Chinese or Japanese uh, green. I think it's pretty low. I haven't really had this one. I've seen it in pictures. It looks pretty interesting, so I want to try it out. Again, I got about a half ounce of those. So we're going to try those as a microgreen. I also got a couple herbs. Um, I use oregano quite a bit. I do make quite a bit of sauce, so I like to have some fresh oregano to throw in. So I've got some oregano seeds from Fedco that I'm going to plant up and grow up as to, into full-size plants. And I got some rosemary. I know I could probably go out and buy rosemary, one plant. It would do me all I needed. Um, but I figured I want to go through the whole process and see how, how it grows. I think that's important, right? You need to know the whole life cycle of a plant. Then you can decide whether it's worth growing it from seed or if you go out and buy a start. So that's some rosemary. Now we're going to get into some things that I'm not quite sure where I'm going to find room for when I grow up, but these are things I want to try. Um, this first one is Fireball Hot Peppers. These are sort of the cherry peppers. Um, I like to use those in a dish that, that we call around here chicken riggies. Um, they're a hot pepper. You generally pickle them. So I know I won't get a whole lot off one plant or two plants that I keep, but it'd be kind of nice to go through the whole process of pickling them, see how they work out. See how tough the skins are and again see if it's worth for the amount i use to grow them myself and pickle them or just go buy a jar um, from the grocery store again on that whole pickling route i really love uh, banana peppers i like to put them on subs i like to put them on sandwiches and i even like to put them on hamburgers and i like a mix so i got the banana sweets and this is from mi gardener got the banana sweets and i'm going to mix in the hungarian hot wax peppers so I'll mix those two up and try to make a, a, a pickle mix for them. Again, it's another process uh, of the homestead journey. I want to try it, see how it works, see how I like it, and then I can make my decisions whether that's something I want to go with moving forward or whether I just want to nince it and then just purchase the few that I would use. Again, these are just experiments. This is my first year doing this along with YouTube, so this is, this is all experiments. But you might as well go for it. Um... I love tomatoes. I love sandwich tomatoes. And the, the varieties I got, the Arctic Rose, are fairly small. I think they get up to 8 ounces. I doubt I'll get that size of a fruit off the ones I have. And the Tiny Toms are a smaller tomato, more like the Capapelli ones that you find in uh, grocery stores that are about an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter in diameter. So I wanted to try a bigger tomato. And I, again, I wanted to do a heirloom, so I got the Tigerella from M.I. Gardener. I'm going to grow a couple of these plants. Again, I'll probably grow a lot of these and then give away some of the other starts to people that um, enjoy tomato plants. And since i am just been trying salad mixes, you saw that the one there was from uh, Fruition, um, Fruition Seeds. The one I planted the other day was from Park Seeds. And then I bought a new uh, salad bowl mix from M.I. Gardener for $0.99. Cents. I figured I couldn't... Uh, pass it up. It's supposed to have a thousand seeds into it, so it should be, you know, at least two to three trays of salad greens. So I'll try their salad bowl mix and see how I like it. And the last one, I, I couldn't resist. I'm a coffee lover, if you ha haven't known. I just love coffee. I saw M.I. Gardner had their coffee tree growing. Coffee trees or bushes, I think they're more of a bush than a tree, are really a beautiful plant, um, even just as a house plant. You saw that he got some cherries off his for the first time and I think he tried to roast up like three or four beans um, which was pretty interesting in itself and I saw that he had some coffee plants this is five seeds 
for MMI Gardener. I figure I want to try and grow. I mean, for 99 cents, how can you pass it up? Well, that's the end of my update. I'll let you know how these seeds grow. I'll get, keep giving these updates. I'm glad that you watched this video all the way through. I really appreciate it. Could you please subscribe if you haven't already? I'd appreciate it. Like and comment. Love comments. Give me a comment. I'd love to talk to you. I'd love to build community. And if you want to see the dailies going on here, you can go to Instagram. It's my view from the woods. Um, I generally post one or two every day, or I try to. I'm getting better at it. Um, I Sometimes I forget or just don't do it. But right, right lately, I've been doing it pretty much every day. So thank you very much. Again, please subscribe if you haven't and give me a comment. Have a great day.